information officer for a health system in New Jersey, uh, where my role is really to align the organizational priorities and IT initiatives um, to advance the organization's goals, to advance our growth, and also to transform uh, the various aspects of technology in the organization. So as you are from IT field, like what's your takeaway on like about AI in healthcare? Like how what's your opinion? Like uh, so many people have a two point of view on AI in healthcare. What's your takeaway on AI, sir? One is that we have we have barely scratched the surface on AI. Uh, I am of the opinion AI is here to stay, but we will really see a true transformation effect of AI in probably next five to ten years. Uh, what we're doing right now with patient engagement uh, is 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 really a right thing to do because it is it is a low risk way of enabling AI in healthcare. But the real value will come when we really utilize all of these large language models and machine learning and, and generative AI to affect clinical care, whether it's really uh, decision support, whether it's really synthesizing a large amount of data to really affect the outcomes at a patient level, a multimodal approach where we are merging the data between images and clinical notes and social determinants of health and the environmental factor to really come to a level where we can affect a individual patient's outcome uh, based on what they need. I think that's where AI will bring a lot of value for us in healthcare. Thank you for sharing that with sir. So as a part like medical professionals, do they need for what's the need for them for the continuous learning? Do you think it's important for healthcare professionals? And there is a lot of internet content like online case-based discussions. We have a platform called Assimilate where we do a 60 plus live case discussions every month. So do you think like it is really important for healthcare professionals to gain the experience through webinars and online sessions? I think absolutely I'm a big believer of learning, a continuous learning and, and you know educating oneself. So, uh, healthcare professionals and healthcare practitioners are no different. In fact, uh, in most uh, jurisdictions, healthcare professionals are required to take certain level of continuing education credits to keep abreast with what's going on. The clinical technology is advancing, the, the field of medicine advancing, and now with the, with the really a merger of technology and medicine. Uh, there's a lot that is coming on new every time. Um, so it, it, there's, a, there's a value for all of us, whether I am in a healthcare field as a practitioner or, or, or likes of me who play a transformation and support role, uh, to really keep abreast with what's out there. And you mentioned about an online platform. I think that is the easiest way to consume because all of us, and especially our clinicians, are really keeping long hours and busy. And it's very difficult for them to get away from work and attend a half-day webinar or a seminar or a conference like this. Uh, but it's, it's very convenient for them to consume a quick 30 minutes course online. Again, the content is the key. Uh, the, the delivery mode is the key. If you have a good content and an ease of delivery, I think it's a win-win situation for everyone. Thank you for sharing that, sir. We have one more question. Like, uh, uh, what makes you feel motivated to be a speaker in such sessions, to be a part of such sessions? What makes you feel motivated in to be a speaker in healthcare? I think it's my passion. For a better part of the last two plus decades, I've been very involved in healthcare IT. I've seen its evolution, its transformation. I have grown with it. You know, and I've come up the ranks, so I really know uh, how it looks like at a ground level to where I am today in a position to influence the outcome and the transformation. And I'm happy to share that any time and every opportunity I have. I'm happy to participate in panel discussions, happy to be a speaker. Really, it's more about sharing my experiences and also learning from others. But these are, these are two-way interaction kind of situations where I learn as much as I bring to the table, I take it back as much. Uh, thank you so much with us, sir. Uh, so we have one more question, sir. Can you share a moment about the feedback uh, for the highlighted education impact Midwest is getting through online platforms? My personal experience? Yes, like uh, what's your opinion on impacting healthcare? Uh, Midwesty offers a blended learning courses. Like, what's your opinion uh, in following a fellowship courses? Because not every doctor will be pursuing MD or MS. They may not be able to get through it. 
so upgrading through fellowship courses was your i i think that again uh, everyone has a, their own journey into healthcare and you know i for one believe the more you can is is greater uh, a fellowship uh, is a, in a way a commitment to really pursue a particular field of medicine where you want to make a difference uh, but even without that you know I, I could be an internal medicine physician a family practice medician but but I may take upon myself to learn more about cancer or cardiovascular disease because that's where most of my patient population is so I think my opinion will be anything you can do to advance your own knowledge by which you can really impact the lives of your patient uh, is a must to think for you. Thank you for sharing that with us, sir. Uh, so, uh, what advice would you like to give our medical professionals on uh, having attending a live sessions or attending the conferences? Like, what will be the useful for medical professionals from your point of view? Sir? So, I don't know if I'm qualified to give them advice, but since you asked, I will. I will give it. My advice will be really is is the more you interact with your peers, the more we all learn. Uh, all medical professionals uh, have an advantage. They deal with the patients. They deal with hundreds of patients a week. So, and all that is usually in their head. And I think that if they share during these conferences, uh, somebody else will benefit from it. Other professionals can learn from it. People like us who implement solutions can learn from it. The so where are the pain points? So I think my advice, or, or more of a request is to, to share your knowledge, which is not in an instructor format, but lying abstract in your head with others. So maybe some good can come out for all of the patient population. Thank you for sharing that with us.